I looked at obviously the form coming into this one, Jensen, and, and the situation and the difference between home and away. Mm-hmm. How much confidence do you take from the run you're on at home and being so many games unbeaten? And the away form, does that have an effect on that confidence because you, you're not winning away from home? Um, not really. I think you've just kind of got to go into game every game the same, really. But obviously it's going to play on people's minds, I think. But it's a it's a chance to turn that round, really, I think, every time we play away. So um, obviously the last Ipswich and Derby, the scores haven't been great. But um, every game is different. So I think you've just got to give it a go and um, hope to change that, yeah. You're clearly very capable because you're getting the <coughs> results at home. Yeah. If you do have that approach of treat every game the same, mm-hmm. do you feel confident you will start getting results away from Yeah, def- I think it's a really good team. I think we've got a lot of good players. Um, yeah, and I think we've just been a bit... Um, obviously, Ipswich conceding really early isn't ideal. <coughs> um, but the teams we've been playing, obviously, they're um, big teams in the league and they've obviously... Things are different, you know, budget, etc. But um, we always want to try and challenge. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just a case of going to the game every the same, really. Yeah. Particularly with regards to going to Sheffield Wednesday, <coughs> obviously played at Hillsborough in the FA Cup earlier in the season. Yeah. Is it easy to blank out the environment that you're in, the stadium you're at, the crowd that might be inside, and just concentrate on the rectangle of grass and doing your job? Um. No, it obviously plays a factor. I think it's, it would be impossible to blank it out completely, but I think when you are focused in the game, you do kind of tend to focus on the game rather than what's around you, but everyone's different, really. Like, me personally, I prefer to block it out, but, and I think I do it quite well, but um, everyone's different. But I think we've got to go to the game um, and just focus on the game, really, not bother about the the fans, ooh, fans, um, et cetera. So, yeah, but it's, um, it's going to be a nice stadium to play in and... Obviously, every football wants to play in the, the biggest and best stadium, so I'm sure it'll be a good atmosphere as well. Do you come across characters who are the opposite, who really thrive on that and kind of seem more up for it when you go into these places? Uh, yeah, as I said, like everyone's different, aren't they? So, um, me personally, I just try and treat every game the same, but uh, some people prefer playing at bigger stadiums and stuff, and then some don't. But um, I think as a group, we're a good group, so I think everyone will enjoy the challenge. Um, yeah, and we'll go into it with 110%. Obviously, Hillsborough, historic place to play football and, and a, a club of a, of a very large stature. Will it help you that you've been there this season in the FA Cup? I know you didn't get the result you yeah. would have wanted, but it, maybe it holds nothing new, no fears, having already been there and done it. Yeah, no, that's true, actually, yeah. The fact that we've been there and played there, you know you know what it's like. There's fans in, maybe not as many fans as there, was, there will be Tuesday, but there was fans in there. We've been at the stadium, you know, we've been there. We know what um, what to expect. And we played them twice now, so... Um, we've seen a lot of them so um, yeah just looking forward to the challenge really yeah as far as the bigger picture is concerned there are maybe seven or eight teams who have still consider themselves <coughs> in this relegation battle towards the bottom of league one how important is consistency going to be not just in terms of the results that you need to get as you've proven at home mm-hmm. but performing consistently well over a space of time yeah do you feel like you'll get rewarded if you can do that yeah, I think so. I think consistency is everything, really. I think the even in training, I think just being at the same levels as you would in training, going into games. Um, <coughs> obviously, we've uh, the away form hasn't been great, but um, we obviously, as we said before, take a lot of confidence from the home games. Um, but yeah, um, in this league, one win can you know like you can put you from one position to another, and you can go the other way, vice versa, etc. But um, yeah, we're looking forward to it, um, and consistency is massive. What's it like being a lone player coming into a situation or finding yourself in a situation like this? I remember speaking to the manager some time ago mm-hmm. and he said that the lone players he had at the club, yourself included, were treating it like a permanent signing and treating it like this was home and it, yeah. it hurt you guys just as much as it hurt the guys who were contracted here. How much do you feel it when you don't get a result or when you do look at the league table? Um, I think it's, it, well, it's, it's, our, like, it's our team, really. You know, We're playing here. It's the um, same as any contracted player, really. I think it's as important for us as it is for them. No differences, really. So I, I treat every game the same, and I think all the other players do as well. Is there pressure associated with the situation that you're in to try and keep the club up? Uh, yeah, I think there's always pressure in football, really. I think no matter who you play for, there's always going to be pressure from fans, managers, 
etc. So I think wherever you go, there's never not going to be any pressure. Um, but obviously being down the bottom end of the table, it's always uh, not nice pressure. But um, I, I don't think anything changes. I think we go into every game the same. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it. From your own point of view, how much have you learned from this, what, six months or so that you've been here? Loads. I've, I've enjoyed every minute of it, to be honest. Um, I'm loving it. I love playing uh, in a team, doing scored a lot of goals as well, so I'm enjoying it. Um, and I've learned a lot. The manager um, and John have been really good with me. Everyone, all the staff have been really good with me as well. And um, but the best way to learn is playing, and I've played a lot of minutes, so I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, how much better do you think it makes you, that exposure to, uh, people call it men's football, <coughs> senior football, whatever you want to call it? Mm-hmm. Um, the only way you can learn is through it. For me, personally, I learn best by doing it, and um, I think a lot of people are the same, but I just feel like I've enjoyed it so much, and um, I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. And you're closing in on double figures for goals. <laughs> Did you anticipate that when you when you arrived? Was that something you targeted? Uh, I, I always set targets, but it's always um, like um, I, I set targets, but it's more like going off like last season. I always want to do better than last season, and then I like to be, you know, see how it goes, and then however I'm doing the season, then I always try and push myself. Like I don't want to set a goal and then say I get to the goal and then be like, right, that's me done. I'd always want to push on and do more, so I'm always looking to better myself. And I know what footballers are like. Is there a bit of healthy competition in that changing room for who's going to be top scorer come the end of the season? Yeah, there always is, to be fair. There's always like cold that's obviously going for it and stuff. And then I think if you went from the start of the season, I don't think anyone would be expecting me to be in the running, but I'm always going to be pushing for it now. So, yeah, a little bit of healthy competition, as you say. Still plenty of games to go. You can still stay top of that pile. Exactly. That's that's the goal for me anyway, try and stay up. But, um, no, if anyone scores, it's it's a team game, isn't it? So... Whoever scores, it doesn't really matter as long as we start to get the goals in and keep them at the other end.